Hello, my name is Drew Pearson. I'm a territory sales rep with Dow Seeds in southwestern Ontario. Today we are at Stratford Farm Equipment in Stratford to go over a few planter tips on setting your planter up for this upcoming planting season. The first tip I want to talk about is leveling your planter. So the two things that you want to level are your draw bar and your tool bar. So what you want to do is basically put a level on your draw bar and make sure that it's level. And if it's not, you just adjust your hitch up or down to level it. Second thing you want to level is your toolbar, which basically is putting a level across the toolbar. Make sure it's leveled east, west, and north, south. Once you've leveled it in your shop, make sure you go to the field and, and do the leveling system again in the field because conditions change a little bit and you want to make sure that everything is, is level during your planting conditions. Second thing I want to talk to you guys about is your units and the play in them. We don't want to have these units swaying back and forth uh, when they're going down the field. I call it sloppiness. So what you do is you just grab the units, you shake them around. These ones are nice and firm, brand new unit here. Uh, so there's no issues, but if there is any issues, it means that you're going to have some, some worn bushings. And what you want to do is change, change the bushings. If, you, if they are sloppy, it creates vibrations in the row units and the meters, and you have seeds that will bounce and skip and creates more double and misses when you're planting. Another thing you want to look at is your parallel linkage. When you're traveling in the field, you want to make sure these are running parallel. They're not down or not up. If they are, you need to adjust your toolbar. And a rule of thumb is measure from the ground to your linkage, and it should be 20 to 22 inches off the ground. But consult your owner's manual to, to be sure. A really important thing to look at is your double disc openers. And this one's already assembled, but if you can, you take your double disc openers off and you want to measure the diameter of them. Uh, when you measure across, them they come at 15 inches brand new and they need to be replaced anywhere between 14 and 14 and a half inches if you do if they do wear down less than that the trench will create more of a W trench instead of a V and the seed will sit higher in your in your seed bed uh, creating a poor seed to soil contact Another thing to look at is the opening and what you usually do here is you take a piece of paper or a business card and you stick it in the front and where it sticks, and actually in this case it's not sticking, you want about a two inch opening, uh, no, no more than two inches, inch and a half to two inch opening between the top of the paper and the bottom of the paper. If the gap's more than that, again it creates the W trench and what you need to do is you need to take some bushings out and just close up your double S openers a tiny little bit. And if it's obviously too wide, or if it's, if it's too tight, what you need to do is widen it out a little bit by adding some bushings. And one of the things you want to look at is go over your planter, look at all the drive sprockets and the chains and make sure there's no cracks or kinks in your chains. Uh, what you want to do is just keep them lubricated throughout the season. When you do have cracks or some kinks, it creates some bumps in the, within your row metering units. And again, you can get some more doubles and skips because uh, the inconsistency. There's many types of planters that there. Some are chain driven and some are electronic. Uh, one of the things you want to make sure is, is all your wiring harnesses are, are in good shape. You want to go through them all, make sure that there's no, uh, no cuts in your wiring harnesses, there's no damage to your wiring harnesses. Also, uh, if it's a chain driven system, go through all your chains and your drives and make sure they're all in working order. A uh, really quick look at just a visual check on, on all these systems going across each of the units. Another thing you want to look at is your down pressure springs. Uh, in this case, we have electronic down pressure drives, but uh, if you have a spring drive or a down pressure drive, make sure you have about 150 pounds per square inch of down pressure. And remember, in dry conditions, you want more down pressure, and in wet conditions, you want lighter down pressure. Another thing you want to look at is your seed tubes. Uh, very important, the seed comes down these seed tubes and comes out. The goal is to have each seed come out the bottom of the tube. Uh, as you guys know, the corners of these tubes can get wet, worn and the seed will come out, bounce around and come out the side. Uh, we, don't, we do not want that. If that happens, then the seed's not getting placed in the bottom of the trench and it's getting, again, poor seed to soil contact. So double check each one of your tubes, make sure there's no wear on the sides. If, there's, if there is, make sure you replace these tubes. 
Once the seed's been placed in the bottom of the trench, another really important thing is to look at your closing wheels. Uh, this system here has got the rubber tire closing wheel and a few discs. Uh, what you want to make sure is that these closing wheels are running right behind the trench. Uh, the reason why is you want a good pack and again good seed to soil contact. Some of the goals that you should be looking at this planting season are having all your plants emerge within 24 hours and ultimately less than 12 hours. So by doing these things to your planter, these can really help you achieve these goals. So I highly recommend you take some time this spring to go over your planter, consult your owner's manual to have the best season you've ever had.